Hey guys, enter the stars. And now is the time of year that everyone is going out and purchasing gifts for Christmas. And I want to remind you that for everything good that God does, there is an evil counterpart. But that doesn't mean we throw the baby out with the bathwater. But it's important to know the facts about this holiday season. 1221, December 21st, is the winter solstice. It is the darkest day of the year, and I believe it is the day that Jesus was conceived to bring light to the world. It is not on December 25th that he was born. It is on 1221st that he was conceived, which means that is the moment of conception. 38 weeks later, he would be born. And when you add 38 weeks, which is the date, which is the number of weeks of gestation for a human child, you come up to September 11th. This is 266 days. Now, why are we going over this? Because 12 and 21 are the 37th and 73rd prime numbers, forming a perfect mirror. Again, 37 and 73 are the 12th and 21st prime numbers forming a perfect mirror now it makes sense then that revelation 9 11 talks about the opposite of jesus which is abaddon apollyon now why are we bringing up that right now because apollyon and abaddon mentioned in revelation has the birthday of december 25th it is the counterpart it is the dark side soul invictus or merry christmas the light side and the dark side and now you know why they are choosing the date of saturnalia to launch the star wars films now you know why because they are worshiping the knowledge that they are hiding from us. Now these are the Roman festivals. And this is Sol Invictus. Now as you can see, Sol Invictus is our Statue of Liberty. This is what we worship. They call it freedom, but in fact it's something else. And in fact, Sol Invictus has been, has been compared to the Statue of Liberty. This is the Sol Invictus here. This is the sun god. And here's the crown that he's wearing, commemorating the sun god. Now, if you'll notice, Lady Liberty also has the same crown on her head. And in this Wikipedia article, it actually discusses how Liberty is linked to the sun god as well. It says here that the Liberty is resembles the Sol Invictus, which is what we just covered. Roman god of the sun. And under neoclassical references, it states here that liberty, commonly known as the Statue of Liberty in the United States of America. Okay, these are embodiments of liberty. So they're linking her directly through Wikipedia to the sun god, Sol Invictus, which was born on December 25th. And there again, you just heard the truth from a video that I did called Mary... Christmas or Sol Invictus, which was blocked worldwide for no reason. It was simply a review of the Wikipedia articles that I released a week before Christmas a few years ago. December 25th, the birth of the unconquered sun, S-U-N, and the Roman festival of Dies Natalis Solus Invicti, birthday of the unconquered sun, and this idea that Christmas was taken from a pagan holiday is recognized. Here in Saturnalia, the renewal of light and the coming of the new year was celebrated in the later Roman Empire as Deus Natalis of Sol Invictus, the birthday of the unconquerable sun, related directly to the festival of Saturnalia. Now you know the truth. December 17th, is when Saturnalia begins and one day off from when 
the force awakens, releases. And on this movie cover, we see the eyes of good and evil, the red and blue pills. But these are the false red and blue. Neither is the answer. The answer is beyond the stars. When Jesus returns, the real Jesus. So when you hear Obama say things like, the war on Christmas, understand that that is meant to evoke a response in you, an emotional response. And he's talking about doing away with worship of the true God altogether, not getting rid of the pagan roots of what has been built by their hands. They build it and then they tear it down. And you believe that there is no God. That is how they do it. That is how they deceive us. They built religion. They built all of this to make you understand that the roots are pagan and then you give it up. You throw the baby out with the bathwater. But that is not what we are commanded to do. Now here's what's interesting. December 18th, which is the exact day that Star Wars The Force Awakens releases in North America. This date is the date during the Saturnalia festival in which a suckling pig is sacrificed to the earth deity. So we will be looking for pig references in the force awakens. It says here, all forms of work ceased. Schools were closed. Exercise regimens were suspended. Courts were not in session. This is a holiday. Saturnalia. The Greek origin typically involved placing a deity's image on a sumptuous couch. That's Santa Claus. Saturnalia. Saturnalia. The statue of Saturn at his main temple normally had its feet bound in wool. That's Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Low, low, low. Yo, yo, yo. Joe, Joe, Joe is what they sang out during Saturnalia. Merry Christmas, Soul Invictus. I don't know how much clearer I can get with this, you guys. And this is as serious as a heart attack. If you participate in the form of worship during this time on this day that they are showing here, then you become complicit in the deception. Nothing wrong with getting family together, loving one another. But this is on a different level, you guys. The toga, the characteristic garment of the male Roman citizen, was set aside in favor of the Greek synthesis. Colorful dinner clothes, otherwise considered in poor taste for daytime wear. Does this sound like Christmas sweaters and all the crazy colors people wear? They only wear it during Christmas season. Saturnalia is represented by a man wearing a fur-trimmed coat. Santa Claus. Rampant overeating and drunkenness became the rule. Gift giving. Saturnalia. Santa Claus. Children receive toys as gifts. Christmas. Poems about Saturnalia. These are the Christmas carols. Greeting cards, Christmas cards that were accompanying on the gifts. This is all from the Wikipedia page of Saturnalia. So there you have it. The truth. Take care and be safe, you guys.